This right here is Lakai. He is a Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle, one of the smallest and most fascinating yet bizarre turtle species on the planet. And in this video, we're teaming up with our friends Jared and Denny Lin once again from the company Toad Ranch to put together the ultimate enclosure for this animal right here. Stick around. Hey friends, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. It really helps us out. And also don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications so you get notified every time we post a video. If you're a fan of reptiles and especially love turtles and tortoises and want to help us out here at Garden State Tortoise, please consider becoming a patron today by joining our Patreon. The link is always in the description of these videos or you can just go to patreon.com and search Garden State Tortoise. So we've been working with Toad Ranch for a while now, and if you guys follow us, then you know we've done quite a few builds with them, and they've been helping us put together this expansive Toad Ranch wall in our nature room. And in our opinion, they are by far the best out there for reptile enclosures. This isn't just another PVC unit. This is heavy duty plastic that's used for marine architecture and things like that. And they have a signature frame, which you can see on all the different units in here. So you also get to pick what's called your destinations background. And we have each enclosure perfectly suited for the animal that's going in it or group of animals that are going in it. And we try to make things as naturalistic as possible. So let's move on to what we're doing right here, right now. Okay, here we go. This is our brand new custom designed unit for our black breasted leaf turtle made by Toad Ranch. It measures six feet by two feet by two feet. And don't be intimidated by the design or the beauty of this thing. These units are extremely easy to put together and all the directions come with it. So all you do is open everything up, make sure all the pieces are accounted for and Toad Ranch has already thought of everything for you. Pre-drilled holes, all your ventilation is already in there, plenty of area up top to hang your lights. Just follow those directions and it is as easy as you can imagine and then you're ready to go the fun part comes into play where you get to design it and don't forget you can make your own specifications when you order on their website we wanted a bioactive unit which meant we have a deeper frame here that means that we can really put all the layers we need to have live plant life growing in there and a fully bioactive system which is not only good for just the plants but it benefits the turtles as well and you don't really ever need to clean it now I've already installed all the lighting and you get to also choose the lighting fixtures and products that you want off the website and you'll notice the beautiful backdrop here. This is an Asian backdrop. It's an Asian forest with a waterfall because the turtle going here, Lakai, the black breasted leaf turtle, is an endangered Asian species of turtle and you can click the link above me if you want to watch the original video we did on him. Now this turtle only grows to be about four inches so you're thinking why do we have such a massive enclosure? Just because a turtle is small does not mean it doesn't need room. And you can see that Lakai is a very energetic species to begin with. They're hunters, they like to move around, they're actually excellent climbers, so we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff in here for him. And we also are going to be adding a couple more that will go in here with him. Now don't forget that anything you guys wanna order from Toad Ranch, including any of these extra products, you can order by using our affiliate link, which is gonna be in the description of this video. So when you're done watching, make sure you go to that description because there's gonna be plenty of stuff that you can benefit from as a responsible keeper. Okay, here's our first step to creating the perfect and functional bioactive terrarium for this turtle. We're gonna start with our drainage layer at the bottom, which is gonna be a combination of expanded clay substrate and also uh, lava rock. This is great drainage stuff, it's very lightweight. And then what we wanna do is we wanna put this substrate barrier. This is just a light screen that's gonna go across the top so that the soil that sits on top of this doesn't start spilling down into the drainage layer and making a huge mess. You don't absolutely have to do this, but it is kind of standard and it does make things a little bit easier. So here we go. All right, with our drainage layer in and the substrate barrier on top of that, we can move on to step two, which is putting in the actual substrate. And this is bioactive tropical substrate, perfectly suited for the plants we're gonna use and the animal. Well, let's get that in. So if you look at the backdrop here, you've got the waterfall that cascades down and where the water pools. So what I'm gonna actually do is try to play off that a little bit, but instead of just putting any old reptile water dish there, I'm gonna try to create my own with some leftover pieces of pond liner from some of the ponds that I've built in our backyard for our turtles. So uh, I don't know how I'm doing this yet, but I think I can make it work. So 
I've got some smaller river stone here that's gonna help going in these like nooks and crannies and covering up as much of the liner as possible. Uh, and also, you know, you don't always see the same grade of stone in a wild habitat. You're gonna see all different sizes. All right, so our little indoor pond for Lakai is looking good. I know it's gonna hold water, but I'll fill it up later. Before I go on to adding any more rock, uh, plants and other decor, I wanna put in his hide first. And pretty much your standard way to make reptiles feel secure is by using a pretty cool or gnarly looking piece of cork bark. So here I have a nice hollowed out piece. He can use it as a refuge and uh, we'll also be able to see him down in there. So what I'm gonna do is because it's so big is just kinda jam it down into the corner and make it face upward a little bit and uh, just get creative. So I've got a really nice selection of live plants that I picked up from Lowe's. You can get these from any garden center. Make sure you always wash them before you use them. And uh, what I'm gonna do is actually put this really tall fern in the back first. And it's gonna be awesome as these plants really just come to life and start taking over the enclosure. And you can trim them and keep them in check, obviously. And uh, this is perfect for it to be in the back corner because it is the tallest one. So generally that's what you wanna do is you wanna do tallest to shortest um, to get the best perspective and be able to view your animals. So let's go ahead and put this in. This has actually turned into a little accidental discovery. By moving these things around, I'm noticing where plants can go. And that's fine. You don't have to do things in a certain order all the time. So I'm actually gonna put another fern back over in here. And this will eventually get taller and drape over this cork bark, which is gonna be awesome. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this bird's nest fern and put it right here in front of the cork bark. And bird's nest fern is really cool because it comes from tropical Asia and Lakai is an Asian turtle. And um, it also offers cover. These get to be a decent size. So I'm actually gonna stick this guy right here. I think it's gonna look really awesome as it matures. So I ended up filling a lot of this in with some organic potting soil or potting mix, which is really good for the plants. So what I'm gonna do now is add one final layer of the bioactive tropical mix to start getting us ready for the final stages of this build. So we're on to one of our final steps. We're gonna go ahead and add a layer of these dried up live oak leaves, which uh, are another beneficial part to making the proper bioactive situation for any herb, whether it's a dart frog or a little Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle. And it really helps to make it look like a living system. pond is filled up and if you're wondering if I'm concerned about having to clean that no I am absolutely not because of the way this whole thing is going to be acting as a bioactive situation uh, this isn't your typical water dish but you can actually install the little mini filters or even bubblers in there which will be beneficial to the animal and the water quality but this water is going to evaporate very fast and even get wicked out by the plants and the substrate which is what you want and then you can replenish it so it's nice and clean black breasted leaf turtles are primarily terrestrial only going into the water to drink and wade a little bit or running through it or yes they do run or walking through it but uh, they don't need it the way something like a, a painted turtle or even a North American wood turtle would. So let's go ahead and get the pump and spray this thing down and watch it come to life. Thank you. 
Okay, it's just about done. Our brand new custom built toad ranch enclosure that measures six feet by two feet by two feet for our Vietnamese black breasted leaf turtle Akai is ready. It's ready, it just needs the turtle. But I wanna talk a little bit real quick about Lakai's species, who is scientifically known as Geoemida spangleri. This little turtle that is fully grown between four and four and a half inches occurs in darker areas in Asia, in forests where there's thick canopy, a lot of leaf litter, low-lying plants, and plenty of places to hide. So you'll notice that we have this enclosure very well lit. Well, right now we're trying to give you guys an idea of what we're doing in here. So it needs to be well lit for the video. And we have two LED Jungle Dawn Arcadia lights and also we have a UVB Arcadia light. Now UVB is questionable when it comes to Spengler Eye, but a lot of people like to err on the side of caution to make sure that they have some of it. So these lights are not always going to be this brightly lit. Lakai is gonna go through different cycles as far as lighting goes, and we don't want them to be stressed out. So while right now we want you guys to get the full effect of how amazing this enclosure is, we are gonna be dimming them, and of course they'll get a day and night cycle. Also, you'll notice we did not do a basking light anywhere. That's because Geomida Spengler Eye needs it cooler. Remember, these animals come from darker areas that are found within mountain areas and deep forests. So it's not always that hot there, but the humidity is very high. So even though we don't have a basking light in here, this enclosure still can get pretty warm. But lucky for us, Toad Ranch always includes these. And these are fans that help circulate the air and cool things down. So we're going to go ahead and install that later up there. But right now, what we need to do is get Lakai in, let him start exploring, and then put the glass doors on, which are thick, tempered glass. So you don't have to worry about easily breaking them and that's it we got another one in the bag all right our little carnivorous turtle is ready to go and here we go go ahead buddy this whole world is yours he's got so much to explore in here he can live as naturalistic of a life as possible and there's plenty of room for us to add some enclosure mates eventually and I just, I'm just so looking forward to seeing this turtle grow up in here. I love naturalistic style enclosures and Toad Ranch is the way to go. So make sure you guys head to the description of this video and use our affiliate link to shop anything on Toad Ranch. Don't forget to, please, we would love to have you join our Patreon. The link is there too. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check this one out next.